Hello, everyone. As Kim said, my name is Whitney. Um, over the weekend, I had the privilege to serve at the Justice Conference in Melbourne. And for those of you who don't know, the Justice Conference is a global movement which unites followers of Christ to live the message of Jesus and transform their communities by making justice a way of life. This year, the theme was around the book of Amos, and this book is a book of sermons, poems, and visions to the people of Israel, and is a message of biblical justice still relevant to the church today. Amos calls us to, uh, calls us to imagine and then act on how the kingdom of God will break through death, despair, and the prevailing system of injustice. Amos 5.24 states, but let justice roll on like a river, righteousness like a never-failing stream. I cannot fit a two-day conference in five minutes, um, so tonight I will just be focusing on one area that God has placed on my heart, and obviously, hopefully it um, impacts you in some way. Um, and you'll have to excuse me, I will probably stay quite focused on my notes just so I can stick to the time frame and cover everything that I want to, want to say tonight. Uh, Proverbs 31, 8 through 9 says, Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needy. This is such a powerful verse and it should not be taken lightly. This is God calling us to be a voice for the voiceless. This is a command to live out the message of Jesus by making justice a way of life. So I really believe that this, this verse is not just a suggestion. It is a command that God is calling us to do. Australians create more than 75 million cubic metres of plastic waste each year. To help get your head around this statistic, uh, that's enough to cover the surface of a football field, five, um, sorry, the whole surface of a football field every five minutes. So that's a lot. <laughs> um, our system uh, for managing this amount of waste are struggling to keep up. For the billions of people who live in communities with little to no waste management, we see that the problem of plastic pollution is having immediate and devastating impacts. Tear Australia is a Christian charity that has outlined sorry, that has outlined that beating poverty means we need to tackle our rubbish problem. I encourage you all to go to the website and sign the petition to help stop the um, production of rubbish. Just curious, a show of hands, who's heard of the campaign or this is a rubbish campaign. Two people. <laughs> Good job. Um, go on the website, look at it, sign it. It's amazing. Uh, so the plastic pollution is increasing the burden of death and disease. It is contaminating food, water and supplies and is damaging people's livelihood by creating economic implications for people who rely on agriculture, fisheries and tourism, just to name a few. One person dies every 30 seconds due to diseases related to mismanaged waste. Now, I'm just going to say that again because it's pretty full on. Um, one person dies every 30 seconds due to diseases related to mismanaged waste. This is injustice and this is what God commands us to do something about. This challenge is huge and can be quite daunting, but as Christians, we are stewards of all God has blessed us with, and we do have a responsibility to respond to this challenge we collectively face in whatever way we can. There are several, several ways we can play a meaningful part in turning things around. So I want to leave, leave you with just a few action points. One of the first places to start is by being more mindful of the volume of plastic we consume in our daily lives. 99% of what we buy is thrown away in six months. A great strategy that was shared at the conference was to start in one room of your house. So, for example, you go to the bathroom and you look at everything there and you see what can I um, get rid of all this single-use plastic. So, for example, you can use a bar of soap, uh, get a stainless steel razor, uh, that's another way. Uh, use a bamboo toothbrush. Like, there are so many options out there. You just need to start looking. And this is kind of off topic, but I just thought of this. Um, Life Essentials uh, has this thing where you can hand in your bread ties, like the square ones. I don't know if you know that. And 
they will send them to a company that uh, exchanges these for wheelchairs for people in need who can't afford one. And then there's also other programs like you can use um, plastic bottle tops like off like milk and stuff like that and they will make it into prosthetic limbs. Um, so there are so many different ways that you can um, try and turn what we have into a solution. Uh, Secondly, we need to go upstream and stop so much plastic, especially single-use plastic, from being produced. This means calling on companies such as Coca-Cola or Nestle, who are driving single-use plastics, to take responsibility and play their part in the solution. As I mentioned before, uh, go sign up for Tears, Aus Tears Australia's petition. It's yeah, going to help make a difference. Um, and thirdly, just speak up, talk about it, post on social media, talk to friends and family about it. Uh, discuss ways to, you know, create uh, strategies to deal with this. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of the documentary or movie called 2040, but that has a lot of action plans to help um, with the resources that we have today to combat this injustice issue. And above all else, my last point is um, to pray. God calls us to pursue an abundant life, as said in John 10.10, 10, not an abundance of things. This is a life more deeply connected with God and the people and places around us. As we live out our faith in this way, we allow Jesus' commandment to love God and our neighbours to shape even our most mundane everyday choices. Thank you for listening. <laughs>